This is Yana Smakula for SimonTestium.com. Welcome back for another Yippee for Yana video. Today I'm using some new and some old supplies to create colorful summer cards. I've had this idea to stamp the word pool and arrange little summer items around it to create a mini scene for my card. I didn't have the stamps that would best work as summer items, so I kept putting this idea off and off until I came across Simon's new Surf's Up stamp set. The size of the palm tree, umbrella, beach towel, and other items in this set was simply perfect for the idea that I had in mind. I'm starting to work on my card by stamping the word pool using individual letters. So these come from the stitched alphabet stamp set, also from Simon, and it's one of my favorite alphabet sets because of the unique letters. The letters here are open and therefore can be colored and made into any color you need. I'm using Simon's Intense Black ink today as this ink is perfect to work with alcohol markers and I will be coloring everything I'm stamping today using my Copics. I want my letters to overlap to have one continuous word, so I'm making sure to overlap each letter just a little bit as I do my stamping. Now I got this idea from Kathy Zelsky's Birthday Palooza stamp set where she has several large words done in outline letters that overlap. I quite like that look so I searched for an alphabet stamp set in my stash to be able to mimic this look and stamp the word that I needed for my card. I've stamped pool and I also stamped the word summer for one more card. I admit, those words will be mostly secondary on my projects, and once I add all of the other elements that I plan to add, they will be covered, especially the word pool, so the recipient won't be able to read it much, but I still wanted to have those words on my cards as little backdrops, if you will. So I'm also stamping several palm trees, beach umbrellas, beach towels, surfboards, seagull, and a little kid's sand bucket. I'm using same ink as before as I will be coloring these with Copics. To color the word pool, I'm using blue markers to make it indeed like a pool. The colors that I'm using are B02, B00, and B000, and I'm making the bottom of my letters darkest and the top lightest. You can by all means use other open shapes and turn them into a pool for your card. You can use a circle for example, but I really wanted it to say pool and look like a pool. Next, to color my palm trees, I'm using greens and browns. I'm going with YG67 as my darkest color, and I'm also going to color a few other items here so that the colors coordinate on my card. My medium color is YG17, and in addition to the palm trees, I'm also coloring one of the beach umbrellas and a beach towel. And finally, my lightest green is YG25 color. I'm also using a C1 marker to add some shadow areas to the white sections on the umbrella and beach towel, and also using C3 and C1 to color the seagull. To color the trunk of my palm tree, I'm using E79, E37, and E33. And I'm doing very simple coloring here, just adding some shading on one side of my tree. Next, I'm using pinks, RV14, 13, and 11 to color the other umbrella, beach towel, sand bucket, and surfboard. And I'll go back to the other surfboard and I'll color it green. So these are all of the colors that I'm using today, green, brown, and pink. I'm going to use coordinating dyes to cut these images out in my Spellbinders Platinum die cutting machine. And I have it sitting off to the side, so that's why I'm not showing you the die cutting part of this video. There isn't a die for the word pool because, well, we just made it up. So I'm using my tonic scissors here to carefully cut it out. I'm trying to have a nice white edge around my die cut and to make it easier to cut, I'm just moving the paper while keeping the scissors in pretty much the same position in my hand. So it's easier to move the paper and not the scissors and this just gives a better result, I think. To create a background for my card, I'm going to do some simple ink blending using Simon's dye inks. The paper that I'm using here is Nina Solar White 80 pound, and I'm blending Malibu and Duckling. 
I usually like to blend on my tonic easy clean mat, but I've misplaced it somewhere and I have not been able to find it for several weeks now. So I'm just using some old stamp packaging as my blending surface or rather as a mat to protect my work surface. I'm also adding a little bit of sunshine ink to the bottom of my panel to intensify the yellow. I've been loving using Simon's dye inks lately to create vibrant ink blended backgrounds for summer cards. I've not been a fan of ink blending before, but lately I just adore it and I don't know why I resisted the ink blending trend for such a long time. I've foam mounted the word pool onto my background and now I'm just playing a little bit with the element placement. I'm trying to figure out the best way I want to position everything on my card. Once I have it all figured out, I'm going to use glue and foam adhesive squares to fix everything in place on my project. So some areas I'll have one layer of foam adhesive and in other areas I'll have two layers. So this card is going to be pretty dimensional and that's exactly how I like my cards to be. You can use thin foam adhesive squares instead of regular if you don't like having quite as much dimension on your cards. Once I have all of my parts and pieces adhered, I'm going to stamp a sentiment. Soak up some summer. Unfortunately, I messed up stamping the word summer. It wasn't too bad, but I didn't like how it looked. So I white heat embossed it onto a black cardstock piece instead and used it to cover my stamped mistake. Finally, I embellished this card using butterfly sequins from Simon and I added a bunch, scattering them all over the background and some of the elements and that finished my card. Perfectly simple and fun card to do for summer. I hope you guys will give this idea a try. If you do make a card inspired by this video, we'd love it if you could share your project online and tag us on social media. We always enjoy seeing what you make. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet done so. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.